ET phone home. This is the brand new ET450T Klein circuit tracer kit right here. So what this is, is you can use this transmitter and plug it in or hook it up to any circuit in the house that you want. And then you use the receiver to go around and find out where your wires are. You can trace them underground, uh, underneath a little bit of concrete, behind plaster, behind drywall. It's a, a very nice set. You can find what circuit breaker controls the circuit that you're testing. So there's a number of accessories that go with this transmitter. And right now I have it hooked up to the AC plug adapter right here. You see the red goes in the red side and the black goes in the common side right here. And it just plugs into the wall. So that's one adapter right here. Okay, it's the AC plug adapter. That's a very useful one because you can use it when you're on a GFCI circuit. Uh, okay, and then we got, we got a three foot red lead right here with one blade. Okay, it, it, you, can, you can use one blade or you can use the alligator clip. Okay, so those are uh, other accessories right there. Alligator clips, okay. All right, so we'll put the blade back on. And the way you use this is you put this red on the red and you put this blade on the hot side of a receptacle. And then another accessory they give you is a 20 foot ground wire. And what to do with this ground wire is you uh, hook this up to the transmitter right like that and then you take and put this all the way over to the ground of another circuit that's why this is so long because you have to go to another circuit with it and that works the best however if you're on a gfci system it won't work it just watch See, it just blew the gfci and it would do that if you put this on another circuit too so it's, a, it's good because it's a stronger system. You get uh, stronger readings, but you really would have to open this up and put the alligator clip on the wire, on the hot wire in here, what we call the line wire. And then you plug this into another circuit and then it would work great. But with the GFCI, the best way to use this is what we call the direct ground method and uh, see when you use this and this that's called the remote ground method okay so we're going to use the direct ground method okay so the direct ground method you just plug this in you got to make sure the the larger prong goes to the neutral side of the receptacle okay and then you plug this in to the transmitter black to black red to red okay you go like that and now we have the receiver. The receiver sensitivity can be adjusted to detect the transmitted signal on breakers, fuses, and wire through drywall, cement block, and underground. Here the receiver started to pick up the signal from the transmitter at about level five. And it goes to level eight. So you have your choice of levels one through eight. And choose the one that isn't saturated. You don't want it reading 99 all the time, but it needs to be picking up some signal so you've, you can trace where that wire is. Short pressing the power button will turn the backlight on and off. Short pressing the next button up will turn the flashlight on and off, and long pressing that button will turn the sound on and off. The receiver takes four AA batteries and the transmitter takes six AA batteries. Here's the receiver close to the transmitter. You see that's 99. So you go farther away from it. It's uh, six, two, one. And you go closer, it's 99 again. So you want to keep your transmitter a distance away from your receiver. If you keep your receiver and transmitter too close together, during wire tracing. It will interfere with your readings. We have the transmitter plugged into this receptacle. Okay, so we're gonna trace the wire 
that comes to this receptacle. So I'm going to go up this way. I got 99, 99. Okay, we're at, what is that, 26? Try this way a little bit. All right, so there it is right there, about, about 72. So we're doing good here. Thirty-eight. Okay, that's getting away from it. Go back this way. All right, fifty-four. You see where we are right now is we're pretty close to a window, so the uh, cable, the electrical cable, is probably coming up right along the studs right here, close to a window. So we're at forty-seven, thirty-eight. Whoops, we kind of lost it right there. Find out where it is. Okay, it went a little farther in. So the cable's probably stapled to a stud right here, but it probably isn't, isn't stapled right at this point right here. It, it's a little uh, loose from the stud. Okay, we'll go up right here. So it looks like the cable enters right about here from our readings, and it goes up here. There's probably uh, an inch of plaster. And then a jack stud, and then a king stud, uh, and so it's probably stapled to the uh, stud right here. We found one spot where it went in a little bit, and it just goes up to the ceiling. So we, we traced our wire from the receptacle to the ceiling. On the day I'm making this video, this kit is running about $200. I'll put a link in my video description for the Klein Tools ET450T. ET, call home. <laughs> Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.